everyone. Welcome to Storytime Anytime here at Wake County Public Libraries. My name is Miss Amanda and I'm so happy that you're here today. All of our story times with Wake County Public Libraries include the five elements of every child ready to read, which are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. And we're going to be doing all of those things today. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we always like to do is sing our ABCs. Let's sing that together. Are you ready? Let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Very good, give yourself a hand. All right, friends, we have a very special letter that we're gonna talk about today. And you know what? I think we have some friends here that are going to help us. I think I see the letter over here. Let's go take a look. <gasps> look at this, it's the letter H. <gasps> H, that's such a great letter. What do you think we're gonna talk about today that starts with the letter H? It's a horse, that's right. We're gonna talk about H is for horse. And we have a very special guest that you can see that's gonna help us with our story time today. This is Miss Caitlin from Saddle Up and Read, and this is her horse, Man Man. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Gooch, and I'm so excited to read with you today. I have someone else here who is also excited to read. His name is Man Man. Man Man is my miniature horse. Miniature horses are very different from horses and ponies because they are much smaller. Man Man is about 32 inches tall. Even though Man Man is small, he still eats plenty of hay, grass, and drinks a lot of water every day. Now that I've introduced you to my special guest, let's read our book. The title of this book is If I Had a Horse. Are you ready to read Man Man? If I had a horse, I would bring him the biggest apple I could find. He might be shy like me. But if I stayed quiet, he would learn to be my friend. If I had a horse, I would hug him. I love hugging man man. until he let me climb on his back. At first, I might have to tame him. And tame just means to train. And we might not agree on everything. I would have to be strong like him. Man Man is very strong. He would have to be gentle like me. Aww. If I had a horse, we would be brave together. We would explore places we've never been. And run wild with new friends. But no other horse would be like my horse. If I had a horse, I would be fearless like him. Fearless man, man. And together, we could do anything. Oh, man, man, did you love that story? <laughs> I loved it too. Man, man is three years old and it is his nap time. So we're gonna go now. Hi friends, welcome back. 
since Man Man decided to take a little nap, we decided we're going to finish our story time inside. So let's get ready for our next book all about horses. So we have our H for horse. Here's our silly little horse. So let's get ready by singing a little song called Silly Horse Turn Around. And it goes like this. Silly horse, silly horse, turn around. <gasps> silly horse, silly horse, touch the ground. <gasps> silly horse, silly horse, touch your nose. Silly horse, silly horse, touch your toes. <gasps> silly horse, silly horse, touch your knees. <gasps> silly horse, silly horse, sit down, please. So everybody take a seat. Let's get ready for our book. This book is called Horseplay by Karma Wilson. Looks like it's, there's, it's gonna be about a lot of fun. Look at these horses, so silly. Horseplay by Karma Wilson. One day, while Farmer worked his fields, he cried, for goodness sake, these horses are a worthless bunch. They can't stay awake. And it was true, they snored out loud. They slept the whole day long. Farmer cried, I'm mystified. Something must be wrong. Look at them sleeping. Hmm, maybe they've been scared all night. Have the wolves been prowling free? I haven't heard them howling, but I'll watch tonight and see. He spied from back behind the hay, and what he saw was pure horseplay. Look at that. Those horses didn't sleep one bit. They frolicked on the loose. They joined in games like hide and seek, leapfrog, and duck duck goose. Donkey tried to play along, but soon began to wail when all the horses gathered round to play some pin the tail. Ouch. Farmer shouted, I declare, you horses have no sense. He shooed them back into the barn and then padlocked their fence. I'm the boss and what I say is absolutely no horse play. He tied them up in separate pens. The silliness is done. Now go to bed, the farmer said, and no more having fun. Hmm. But still, those horses didn't work. They acted just as lazy. Farmer shouted, there's no doubt. You're gonna drive me crazy. He hid out with the hens that night and watched as down below, his horses wrote out silly notes and tossed them to and fro. And so, <gasps> farmer stomped, farmer stormed, farmer yelled, that's it. Farmer ranted, farmer raved, farmer threw a fit. Farmer fussed, farmer fumed, farmer said, okay, you really want to horse around? Go on, make my day. Uh-oh, what's farmer going to do? <gasps> farmer guarded, farmer glared, he stayed until first light, and not one horse would dare to play. They had to sleep all night. Farmer shouted, hip hooray, I put an end to all horse play. The horses felt like colts again. They walked with heads held high, but farmer's eyes were strangely red. He sighed, a sleepy sigh. Farmer slumped down in the grass. I think I'll rest a spell. I didn't sleep a wink last night and I don't feel too well. Before too long, poor farmer snored, and while he slept all day, his horses took their bridles off and crept away, there they go, to play, play, play. Look at those silly horses. The end. Thank you for joining me for Horseplay by Karma Wilson. What a fun book. All right, now I want us to help, I want you to help me find our little horse. And horses live in the barn, right? So we have our barns here. Hmm, where is the little horse? We have our big horse. 
Where's the little horse? Hmm, what color barns do we have? We have green, blue, red, and yellow. Hmm, okay, well, we have some choices. Let's see if we can find him. We gotta sing our little song and it goes like this. Little horse, little horse wants to go riding. Behind what barn could you be hiding? Hmm, which color should we try first? Maybe the green one? Let's try the green. What's back here? <gasps> What's that? That's a cow. I mean, that should be in the barn too, but we're looking for our little horse, so let's keep going. How about <gasps> the blue barn? Let's try that one. <gasps> what? A dinosaur? Should a dinosaur be in the barn? That's a silly one. How about the red one? Let's do the red barn. <gasps> what could be behind this one? Is it the little horse? <gasps> it's a pig. Oh man, once again, should be in the barn, but we're looking for the little horse. All right, let's try the very last one. The yellow barn. <gasps> is this where little horse is? <gasps> Yay, good job. We found little horse. He was behind the yellow barn. Very good. Thank you for helping me. All right, friends, now we're going to sing a song together and it's called Walkin' Old Joe. So we're gonna pretend that this is our horse. His name is Joe. He's very similar to Man Man like we saw earlier. And we are going to walk like old Joe. So you're gonna to to walk like this. Then I want you to gallop like old Joe, really fast. And then I want you to mosey, which means we're gonna go really slowly. All right, you ready to do that together? Let's do it. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe. You're the best horse in the country. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe. You're the best horse in the country. Whoa! Gallop, Great job! Wow, friends, that was so much fun. Thank you for taking the time to horse around with me today. We're going to end our time together by saying um, goodbye and thank you. So I, we're going to practice saying thank you in American Sign Language. Can you show me how you say thank you? Thank you, thank you. We're gonna have our hands say thank you and we're gonna clap. Our feet will say thank you and we're gonna tap. Our head will say thank you, we're gonna shake and then our hearts are gonna say thank you with a kiss to take. So lots of love to all my Storytime friends here. Are you ready? Let's do it. My hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. My head says thank you with the shake, shake, shake. My heart says thank you with a kiss to take. Mwah! Thank you so much for joining me, friends. And you know what? Maybe we should head back outside and let's go say goodbye to Miss Caitlin and Man Man. Okay, everybody, that's it for our story time today. Thank you so much for joining us. And we want to say a special thank you to our guest today, Miss Caitlin from Saddle Up and Read. And of course, big thank you to Man Man. And Man Man wants to remind you to talk, sing, read, write, and play at home. See you next time. <laughs>